Hey, this is Miller from Creator and you're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News and this is your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News Report. Quicksand have released a live in-studio performance of their song Brushed, which is off their new album Distant Populations, and it was filmed at Vinegar Hill Sound in Brooklyn, New York. They are now going to head out on tour with Cave In, Mutoid Man, vocalist guitarist Stephen Brodsky to assist with guitars, and you can check out the band's website for tour dates. And KISS, uh, their album Destroyer, is celebrating its 45th anniversary. It was released in 1976 and is considered to be one of the top KISS albums. It's their first album to sell 1 million copies in its first year and also is their best-selling studio album of all time. There are many classics on it, such as Detroit Rock City, Shout It Out Loud, God of Thunder, and Beth. So on November 19th, UME will release Kiss Destroyer 45th as a super deluxe 4CD plus Blu-ray audio box set, as well as on standard double black vinyl and limited edition yellow and red double colored vinyl, 2CD set, and digitally. Destroyer 45th can be pre-ordered now, so you can check that out, and they have a promo video for it on YouTube. And Iron Maiden have hit the charts with their new album, Senjutsu, released on September the 3rd. However, many do not know, as Bruce Dickinson divulged a secret, it was completed back in 2019. Bruce was a guest on Full Metal Jackie's radio show recently and discussed how the band resisted the temptations to tease or release material once the album was done, which was extremely hard to do. Bruce said, we didn't have access to it. Simple as that. None of us had a copy of the record because we knew we were going to have to sit on it for a while, and we were so paranoid about security and the internet and people ripping it. As soon as you let the record be heard by anybody, you are at risk of it leaking. So basically, they recorded it, and Steve and Bruce had a copy, and the rest of the band didn't even hear it until it was released. So pretty, they kept it under wraps, and what a great album. Continuing with your Maximum Threshold.net rock and metal news, Helmet have never released a live album throughout their decades, but they are going to. Frontman Paige Hamilton stated, after persuading our label folks in Hamburg to take these old tapes, we finally managed to mix two live shows for release. One of the shows is at CBGB's, which was our neighborhood club, a 10-minute walk from our home. We all spent plenty of time at CB's, and though this is not our audition night set, it captures the early frantic energy of the band. So that should be cool. And Judas Priest guitarist Richie Faulkner had a recent chat with Lana Morgan of the 102.9 The Hog radio station about the set list for the band's ongoing tour. The rescheduled 50 Heavy Metal Years North American tour has now kicked off. They kicked off September 8th in Pennsylvania. They have a huge catalog to choose from, so it was hard for the band to know what songs to play. The band are celebrating their 50th anniversary and perform songs such as One Shot at Glory, Invader, and several, several tracks they haven't played for a long time. Rock -a Rolla, Exciter, Hell Patrol, A Touch of Evil, and Blood Red Skies. So check the band's official website for the remaining tour dates. And finally, Cradle of Filth have released a new song from their upcoming new album titled Existence is Futile, which is set for release October 22nd through Nuclear Blast. The new song is called Necromantic Fantasies, and it's out now on YouTube and digital retailers. Stay tuned for a music video for that as well. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Z, and this has been your Maximum Threshold Rock and Metal News Report. Thanks for tuning in.